Okay, the TikTok who thinks she's black. All right, guys, let's watch this one. This one's going to be interesting. She was either the dumbest, most delusional bimbo to ever set foot on planet <laughs> Earth or the most bizarre TikTok troll of all time. Claiming to have a great, 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 great granddad who was black, as well as real DNA confirming that she was proudly and literally 0.9% Jamaican. <laughs> Fanny literally, dude. Hayley, or the Carrie Bean Gyal, as she called herself, seemed pretty convinced that she could pass oh, as black. You're a white boy and you love you some black women. Please use this sound because sometimes we can't tell if y'all like black girls or not. However, when a couple of individuals dug up some old videos displaying her naturally white skin color, all hell broke loose. The audience would be split up into two different groups. Oh, those who found God. the content offensive stating that she was black fishing, and those who saw it as nothing black more than a girl. fishing? Wait, okay, I'm gonna look this up. Black fishing. Black fishing. Um. What? Wait, what do you call it? What's that thing called? Um. You. You. Uh. F what's that thing called? What's that thing called? The. Oh, people always ask. Urban Dictionary, yeah. Social media has been buzzing about black fishing. It's a newly coined term in uh, which it's trained commonly per perpetrated by a white woman using tanning or makeup to appear to have the same type of black African ancestry. Oh. Well, how is it a black, how is it black fishing? Wouldn't it be like black pretending? Black, like, you know, like... Facing or black, I don't know anything black, black, uh, anything but like, I mean, what how's it fishing? How it, fishing would imply that you're like baiting someone, right? Like cat fishing, right? You're cat fishing, you're pretending to be someone else, and then you fucking you're baiting them. Uh, wouldn't it be like, you, you understand? Wait, is she, is she, is she, oh, wait, you're saying she's cat fishing, except she's looking. Well, I'm so confused. Couldn't you, I mean, you could find infinite, well, I'm so confused, you could find infinite black dudes to fuck you, right? Or on, on, I mean, you know, if you, like, if you, you, like, what do you mean? You don't need a black, that's not even, so it's not even, I don't, I don't understand this term. Huh? What do you mean? How, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, how is it fishing? White fishing. Okay, that's just, uh, wait. Urban. What the fool? I feel like we're missing out. Uh, a white person purposely made themselves appear black on the internet. Uh, have you seen Becky? She posts. She's literally face uh, tuned herself so much she looks black. She's black fishing. Artificially tanning themselves using makeup and manipulate facial features to appear to have some type of black ancestry. General point of black fishing is for female, European, or African or Arab or Hispanic ancestry. Some cause. Oh. Okay. Some people would consider it to the equivalent of Monday blackface because it capitalizes off the historically oppressed group of people who came from more privileged backgrounds. Uh, Emma, ha Emma Holberg is a beautiful mixed race sweet. No, Emma isn't mixed race. She's just black fishing. Okay, okay. I still don't understand why it's fishing, though. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't make sense to me. I feel like they should just fucking, they need to rename that. Okay. TLDR using the makeup to get an N-word pass. Okay. Creating a bit of comedy to mask what seemed to be a severe tanning bed addiction, leading to one of the strangest, most controversial TikTok accounts before she would eventually be banned. She got banned. She was first discovered in February 2021 by a YouTuber and Twitch streamer called The Asher Show in a video titled Meet the TikToker Who Thinks She's Black. She's African and spicy white. Tan lives matter. In this video, Asher talked briefly about the concept. <laughs> no, dude. No, tan lives matter? No, dude. Shut the fuck up. Of black fishing. A situation okay, in which- Okay, dude, okay. D tan isn't a fucking ethnicity, you dumb bitch. What the, the fuck? With light skin will attempt to appear as a black or racially ambiguous <laughs> individual for their own personal gain. Classic examples include YouTubers like Wall Vicky, a white girl whose popularity exploded back in 2017 after claiming that she was black. I'm sick and tired of telling y'all what freaking race I am. I'm black. B-L-A-C-K. End story. Black. 
Yeah, I've never heard of light skinned. When Fannie Mae Lee first became popular on I think you can be culturally black. I think you can absolutely, like, if you grow up on a black neighborhood and you ever all your friends are black and all of that, you can be exactly, the, it's like you're effectively, you are, I mean, you culturally, absolutely, you, you know, it's like uh, those guys that were on the Channel 5. Those guys, those guys are absolutely, right? Like, like part of the, they're, they're part of, they're one of the brothers. Like, absolutely. Uh, but, the, I, but, I mean, if you're just talking literally about skin color and shit and ethnicity, then there's just, there's a the hard facts, right? This this is a matter of, you know, the facts. TikTok, this is what she was being accused of in comments such as, colored girls are beautiful, yes, but you're not colored, baby girl. You're still beautiful, though. I know you don't mean to, but you're blackfishing. You are not black. 0.9% Jamaican does not make you black. Stop blackfishing. You will never amount to the black beauty of the black community, as well as take this down. Who thinks? Down it's black history. But wait, who thinks this looks good? Like, it looks clearly, like, unnatural. It, it looks clearly unnatural. I'm not saying it's good. Okay, to, to, because of the fucking, the the way, the hue, and the the, the, the contrast, and the, just the way it. Extreme up. That this, what I'm saying is this does not look, it looks unnatural. It looks, un, it looks like, it's like Jersey Shore on, it's, it's Jersey Shore on fucking acid. It's like, you got the Jersey Shore look. What the like, fuck are you doing? <laughs> you got like the fake. Play now. <laughs> the Play a fucking game right <laughs> shut, now. Shut the fuck. I'm watching that fucking video. Shut the fuck. Okay. It's like they got Jersey Shore, like that fake dog shit, like makeup look. And they just fucking turned it up like times a thousand. I, I, I don't see who's attracted to this. Um, stop black fishing. Fannie Mae Lee didn't seem all that concerned about the backlash, yet would still respond to the accusations of blackfishing in a highly intelligent response reading, where do you see a fish? I'm literally a human being. Now, while some comments spec- she's, she's deliberately doing that. She thinks that's funny or something, because she's probably like, you know, brain's not developed. She probably thinks it's funny. There's no way you fucked that up that bad, okay? Even speaking as a dyslexic gamer. Okay. Calculated as to whether or not Bean could have possibly referred to her skin color. Bean, your skin color is the color of a baked bean. It was pretty obvious that this Caribbean girl had deliberately misspelt human being, and suddenly people realized that this whole thing might have potentially been a joke. I can't breathe. This account has to be some kind of social experiment, cause ain't no way this girl is for real. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. The potential joke of the whole thing will be highlighted even further when Fannie Mae Lee responded to certain comments such as, are you a cancer by any chance? If not, I guess you'll be one soon. XXXX. No, I'm a Sagittarius. You can't change star signs because it's when you were born. Do you by any chance have dyslexia? Wait, Who's dyslexia? No, okay. Do not fucking. Uh, if she's not joking, she has a, a, a literal mental deficit, okay? Like, she, there's actual mental retarded. If she's not joking, she is actually mentally retarded, which we really shouldn't be making fun of that, okay? Because, I mean, th that's not. This isn't dyslexia. Others who seemingly misunderstood that the entire thing was a meme straight up defended Fannie Mae Lee by stating that there was nothing wrong with getting a dark tan then posting it to TikTok. Everyone's onto her for being black or blackfishing, yet loads of girls, black or white, all want a tan and go on sunbeds. Fannie Mae Lee also built up a massive army of supporters consisting of people who no, If you have a legitimate tan, okay? If you have a legitimate tan, then it's a legitimate tan. That's what do you mean, okay? You just got a tan. If you like, you go outside and you get a tan, that's a tan. It's when you fa spray that fake artificial bullshit on there, it looks just, it's uncanny as fuck. It's fucking weird. It's fucking, there is a dissonance there between what you look like and your fucking facial bone structure and everything that like immediately shouts out as like, what the fuck is this? This, this is some weird unnatural shit going on and it's fucking creepy. It's fucking, like the fake tan shit is fucking creepy, bro. Okay, it's is it's a weird it's okay and it looks always looks unnatural, unless you just I miss you have some fake tan shit who like, you know it's like ultra subtle then it's just like it looks like probably close to a real tan and then you're good. Genuinely just okay. respected her and thought she looked quite good in the TikToks that she posted. Am I the only one who thinks she's actually pretty? However, it was questionable as to how long this respect would last for after her audience discovered yet another piece of evidence proving that she wasn't really black. What?
In one specific TikTok, Fannie Mae Lee had posted a mirror selfie next to a tanning bed at a business by the name of The Only Tan Is Essex. And after looking up the location of the business, people discovered that it was located in the United Kingdom, specifically in an East London suburb by the name of Hornchurch. It was then also speculated that perhaps Fannie Mae Lee was Irish, as she had tagged hashtag- Why does black people ever in UK though? I don't understand. What the fuck? Wait, I don't get it. Irish what? in many of her videos. However, this may have just but been obviously a troll joke, considering like... Irish people carry the stereotype of being incredibly pale. The true location at which Fannie Mae Lee lived would be revealed shortly thereafter, when she'd accidentally leak it in the next stupid public stunt posted- yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> if you were legitimately black and living in the UK, you want me going to a tan bed though, like, you know, like, what the fuck are you- I mean, like, I'm mean, like, you know- like, uh... A TikTok description, a GoFundMe fundraiser. The fundraiser titled <laughs> Help Rebuild Fannie's House had an 850 pound goal, a currency only used in England, Scotland, Wales, and the I islands that surround the United Kingdom, not including Ireland- Wait, who, why not? Wait, we just, what's- I mean, I'm talking about people who are actually like African American. Like, wait, that, you don't. Would is this? Is there a benefit to tanning beds? I'm talking about. I'm talking about like that. If you have like hardcore, like you, you know, like uh, you know, the UK. I'm talking about like if you're like if you're like literally from Jakarta or something, right? Or fuck, okay. And you, I'm talking like like you know, well, not, I'm talking like full. You know, you're proper black. Right. When I say, when's not saying I was opera, but there's like, there's, there's a, there's a gradient. I'm talking like, you know, we're talking like what she's, you know, the, the that, that thing. Okay. You don't, that, do you use tan bits? Do you go to tan bits? Like my mate Mando, who came from Germany, he's like, you know, like, I mean, fucking Mando, it was like fucking, uh, uh, what, what would be the point of using a tan bit? What would be the point of using a tan bit? It's my, that, you just wouldn't, right? I'm saying it'd be illogical because you just wouldn't use a tan bit. Zero days, any percent. I mean, you're saying you could, but like, ban already? Oh, <laughs> to get a tan. <laughs> to get some skin cancer? <laughs> Do you know what tan is good for? Getting fucking skin cancer, chat. <laughs> let's, be, let's be real here. That, <laughs> it's a speed run. Yeah, oh man, I really wasn't fucking skin cancer. Let me go to the skin cancer booth over here, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love radiating my skin. <laughs> which uses the euro. The money was being raised with the goal of apparently rebuilding her house after it was burnt down. Hi there, my name is Fanny. Three weeks ago, my mobile home was burned whilst me and my family were away for a wedding. The perpetrator was my ex-boyfriend. I would like to raise money for repairs on my house as I have no idea where to go and I'm staying with many friends. I would also like to raise awareness for abuse victims, especially those affected by narcissists. Any amount sent will help. She is taking the piss. No, you are taking, this is not real, it's a meme. This, no, this is not real. She is role playing. Nobody's this dumb. If she, assuming you, because you get free public education. If you've gone to school, you don't, you're just not this fucking dumb. Like, literally. Or you're mentally retarded, which, okay. That's, then she needs help. If you aren't willing to donate to me, please donate to one of the many domestic abuse charities. The GoFundMe further cemented the suspicion that the whole thing was just an elaborate troll, and that Fannie Mae Lee was a self-aware provocateur, making fun out of her own situation, especially after stating that she wanted to raise awareness for those affected by narcissists while running yeah. a pretty narcissistic TikTok account. However, the most interesting and notable part of the fundraiser was that the organiser, Fannie Lee, claimed to have been located in London, United Kingdom. Depending on how you viewed the whole situation, the strangest, funniest, or most offensive part about the discovery that she was British was that in so many of her TikToks such as this one reading, you can't just tan every day then say you're black, she'd often display the South African flag despite living in the UK and apparently being a mix of Caribbean and Jamaican. It would once again cause backlash from the audience. She was a girl living in Britain, tagging Ireland, claiming to be Jamaican and Caribbean whilst using the South African flag in her videos, which was certainly lacking in continuity oh, and confusing brother. to say the least. Yet Fannie Mae Lee still didn't understand why she was receiving so much hate. She'd post a video with Captain <laughs> reading. To be honest, I don't see what- No, dude, you- Dude, there's no way she's not self-aware and knows exactly what she's fucking doing. The issue is with embracing natural melanin, what comes out when I get sunbed, hashtag viral, hashtag black Barbie, which, of course, many would respond negatively to. Oh my gosh, disappear from my For You page. It's not the same. Black people went through the worst as slaves, now just getting shot at for no reason. No, you pay to get my skin tone. This is disgusting. My race is not a trend for you to play dress up. This is incredibly hurtful and racist to my community. Okay. You aren't black. Wait, okay, wait. Is this racist? Is this racist? Is it racist? Is what she's doing... Okay, to... to I don't think... It, I think to go get a hardcore tan... Okay, to go get a hardcore tan isn't racist, obviously. 
Like, if you can just go get a high card hand. But it depends on your motivations, right? It depends. If she's, if she's, if this is all intention, if she knows exactly what she's doing and she's baiting, then it is, it, it's, it depends on her intent, right? If she's aware of what she's doing and she's doing it. But if she's just like dumb as fuck, legitimately, and just straight up is like, you know, it's, it depends on intent, doesn't it? Because you could, it, but if you, if you're, she's totally cognizant of everything she's doing and why she's doing it, and like, then it's like, okay. Well, she's, yeah, she's, you, she's basically abusing, like, what, what she's, she's use, like, using racism to make money, right? Because she's farming outrage from, like, this fucking weird, I don't even know what you would even call it. I, I don't even know what the figure you call it. I don't know what it does, but it's, it's it, it, I think it depends. I think the only way it's not racist is if, she, well, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not like, it's not like it's like hardcore. It's like, you could, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a scale, bro, a racism scale. Like at the end of the scale, you're like straight up like killing other people because it's based on their race, and then the, the, the other side, you're like doing something you like that's like could be potentially like culturally appropriating at some very small degree, right? You got like so she's probably on the very low end. If she, basically, basically, if she's aware of what she's doing, it's on the low end scale of racism. But if she's just dumb as fuck, I don't even think it. I think you actually could just be this stupid, right? Like you could believe like oh, I got point nine percent, and I like going to the tan thing, and I can't even construct a sentence. Uh, right? You're white and black fishing just stop. You will never know their pain and understand their history. The hate okay. towards Fannie okay. Mae Lee would escalate even okay. further after sharing a video of her pale younger self before she turned into the self-proclaimed black Barbie. This is what she looked like before. And then it looks like she fell asleep in a tanning bed for 10 days. Another theory was that this whole thing wasn't even her idea and had been influenced by her friends. As she would upload a TikTok comparing her friendship group at the age of 13 to now, whatever age that happened to be, revealing that all her friends seemed to have this matching incredibly dark tan with a top comment describing exactly what everyone was already thinking, there are more of them. However, it wasn't only Fannie Mae Lee and her Ugh. friends that were parading around with Ugh. these excessively dark tans on TikTok. She'd often get comments from others replicating her style, such as this 16,000 follower account called Soggy Nick's Official, whose description read, Don't hate- What? How, wait, what the fuck? She, how the fuck did you get so many likes? What the fuck? 16k followers. Don't hate me, because you ain't me. I am not British, stop stereotyping me. Ain't me cause you ain't me. I am not British, stop stereotyping me, thanks. She'd post videos such as this one captioned, If some of me followers sent me a quid, I'd be able to afford me filler dissolve so I can be natural. <laughs> Alongside a clearly ridiculous face filter, showing that this was once again another joke. The interesting part about Soggy Nick's official was the mention what? of quid, a slang word used for the British currency pounds, showing that this girl also reigned from the same country as Fannie Mae Lee. Perhaps these completely overdone tans and excessively fake appearances are popular in certain parts of Britain, and those who are self-aware enough to realise that they look ridiculous create TikTok accounts to capitalise on the stupidity. This was the theory held by one Reddit post of Fannie Mae Lee in the Blackfish subreddit, reading, This girl is white Irish, seen next to her white father and heavily fake tan mother, which received a comment stating, These people are Irish travellers and fake tanning and extreme fashion is a thing in their community. They're an insular community and nobody calls them out on anything, so nobody in her life is going to say anything about blackfishing. A traveller I knew explained the fashion to me. Female travellers have very little freedom or life outside their family. They generally don't work, go to college, Wait, and- Invisibility, is this true? We talk- what is this? Is this true as fuck? Is this, uh, is this like, you seen this shit? So what's the deal? You need to give me some, uh, give me some lowdown here. What are we, t what are we t what? Explain. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Extreme? Wait, extreme fashion is the thing that, I mean, I mean, yeah. And the treatment of women is like the 50s on steroids. Fashion is their hobby, a social outlet, their only creative freedom. However, the main problem is the part of the bottom. The wait, wait. People don't understand how travelers hold certain ideas about women, but dress in a way that might be considered slutty. How it is what is explained to me was a traveler man would never uh, think that a traveler woman was a slut because uh, he knows she would never do anything like have sex outside of a marriage or anything along those lines. What? What? What the fuck is this random username? 
<laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this? Some random 20 up over Reddit posted. Yo, is it, have you ever seen any fake tan? Wait, instability. Is it, you ever seen any fake tan people going around an island and it's normal? Like, I don't know. I've seen the Geordie Shore. I've seen, like, I've seen Geordie Shore. Look, what's this? Geordie Shore. Um, I've seen, I've seen this shit. Um, trying to find it, to be fair, it doesn't even look that bad. It actually doesn't even look that bad. You click on it. Looks, fuck, I can't even get the picture big. I can't get the picture big, dude. Open image of a new tab. I've seen this, bro. Okay, so it's like hardcore, like you're wearing, they wear like hardcore makeup and like, oh, like pretty hardcore fake tan and shit. And it's like, Geordie, yeah, Geordie, sure. I've seen this. I've seen this look, where it looks abnormal because they got so much fake tan and bullshit on, right? I've seen that, but I've never seen to this extreme because this, this, this just looks like it does. Honestly, it looks like blackface, right? Fashion is their hobby, a social outlet, their only creative freedom. However, the main problem that Fannie Mae Lee, as well as these other accounts had, was that they still tiptoed on the TikTok terms of service. There's a difference. They were susceptible to being banned. TikTok's community guidelines state that it's against their rules to dehumanize an individual or a group on the basis of the following protected attributes, race, ethnicity, and national origin. While the definition is incredibly vague and arbitrary, TikTok probably keep it that way so they can get rid of people that they don't like without receiving any backlash. TikTok certainly has a reputation of banning people left right and center, often for incredibly petty reasons, so I'm sure they'd have no problem coming after some of these ultra-tanned British white girls. It's what happened to one account by the name of Ebony Chelsea, whose description reads, banned at 11k, which was probably- Ebony Chelsea, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, say so you just ban anyone that has some identity bullshit in their fucking name. Like, like, straight up, anyone is called, like, Tourette's, Andy, or e Ebony thing, and they're, like, taking the piss, right? And it's like, you should just, they should just ban, you should ban anyone. Like, straight up, like- Probably an understandable ban when some of her videos yeah, right. state, me when a gorilla emoji tries to tell me I'm blackfish, but she looks worse or darker than me. I'm a bit- no, a, a name should be your identity, not something that describes your identity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like, that, like Quinn is, you know, Quinn or Quentin is my identity, right? Like, I'm not gonna be like, white boy, angry white boy 69. Right, like this fucking, you know, you know, ten percent Jew gamer, uh, New Zealand boy, you know, like what, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, just put some shit up, like what the fuck, you know, what the what the fuck are you doing? What is what are you doing? Make just make a cool name that sounds cool, dude. How, how many people are chatted doing it? Let's see, is there anyone in chat who's got some identity bullshit name? Let's have a look here. Uh, Bugfest, that's a legit name, bro. Dancer, Vald Frog. It's a Vald Frog. To be fair, it's kind of describing something, but it's not, it's not, it's not like a political, it's not politicized or anything, is it? Sunrise, Kojak. See, these are just names. These are just cool names. Look, you got, you just got cool names, dude. Magic Fanny Pack. Uh, Discord Femboy Cutie. Oh, wait! I mean, if he actually is a Discord fanboy cutie, and it's not, not I, it's, that's not irony, then at that point, but I think it's ironic. I think it is an ironic name. Although, unless. <laughs> if it's not ironic, then it's kind of cringe Discord fanboy cutie, okay? I, <laughs> search viewer list of word. Wait, search viewer list of word? Bro, what am I gonna search though? What am I gonna, wait, how do you even do that? I don't even know how to do that. What am I even gonna search though? Without, this not gonna be controversial. Uh, that, but that would also show identity politics cringe. Uh, um, Jew. Couldn't find anyone named Jew. No, it doesn't, I'd, wait, is that like not? Oh, no, wait, so, wait, does it just start off? Wait, is there any coin at the end? No, so wait, there's no one with Jew in their name. Literally nobody, wait, nobody with Jew in their name? Well, how is there no one with Jew in their name, bro? How is there no one with, like, literally? That's actually kind of cringe. Like, we don't have at least the beer Jew. Like, why is the beer Jew not in my fucking chat right now, bro? Okay. 
Dean Dead uh <laughs> White Nell, White Locks, White Antelope, White Nell, Walter White. See none of these none of these to be fair, no one's doing it. It's you can see it's because no one in chat I mean there are current people on Twitch, but like you know, we're not really attracting them here. We're not really attracting those identity Andes. I mean, because the identity Andes would get I guess they'd just get triggered by me constantly, right? Like you would I don't know if you'd be able to exist in my chat and not get triggered by my shit twenty four seven, right? Because I would constantly say shit that would come off as like uh like some sort of attack like which is not i'm just saying like basic facts and shit better black barbie than you africans now while you could probably argue that fanny may lee was less racist and seemed more concerned about having a laugh at the color of her tan others still demanded the same fate for her account with comments such as how are you still not banned well she eventually would be but not before she do another gofundme campaign this time claiming that she needed 920 pounds to help fanny receive her skin change surgery this time the description stated from a very young age i have been ridiculed for wearing tan going to the salon on a weekly basis wearing African clothes and playing with black Barbies. My mother put me up for adoption at the age of eight and I was adopted by a London family. I have lived here for nine years and I've never faced judgment here. I want to receive melanin treatment because it would save me money and end my body dysphoria. <laughs> no, it, dude, she, how can she be aware of what body dysphoria is and, and like, but then still type like that. There's just no way, bro. Right, she's Aurea. taking the well, piss. Well, this GoFundMe campaign seemed to be the last straw, and she was banned shortly thereafter. She's taking However, the piss. This it's literally a piss take scam. May Lee. In December 2021, she would remake the account, titling her first video, Fanny May Lee is back and blacker than ever, confirming the return of the yeah. Caribbean girl. In her description, she opted to support Black Lives Matter instead of Tan Lives Matter, and has so far racked up 13,000 followers, just a few thousand less than the peak of her previous Nah, account. bro. Nah, bro. She, she's no what she's doing and this is honestly it is fucking racist because she's farming right it's like outrage for 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 based on like so, like she's farming something that's perceived to be racist for outrage to make money off she's using it she's using it as a tool she she don't i mean yeah which that is, it's fucked up because he is god damn damn god damn